watch you play and pretend. Nine out of ten. MG Madden Football Academy here with me. It's Cody Thomas, a local kicking and punting prospect. We're going to take a look today at kickoffs. If you've been watching some of our videos on field goal and punting techniques, we're going to take some of those techniques with field goals and transition those into kicking off. Kicking a uh, kickoff is very similar to a field goal with two main differences. The first main difference is the explosion where you finish with your kicking leg. When we're kicking off, we're landing on our kicking leg, exploding up and through the ball, as opposed to with our field goals, we were skipping through, keeping our landing on our uh, plant foot with a little skip through the ball. The second main difference is our distance away from the ball. So with field goals, we were only two to three yards away from the ball. With kickoff, you're five to 10 yards away from the ball. Let's take a closer look. Now you've seen two of the main differences that there are between kicking off versus kicking a field goal. If you haven't already seen the video series on how to kick a field goal, I encourage you to go back, look at the IMG Madden Football Academy series on how to kick a field goal. Kick off, swing path, and follow through right now. We talked about not letting this knee creep in, and instead your swing should, your downswing should start with your foot instead of your knee drops and then all you have is just a little kick mm -hmm. so really it should be from back here the whole the whole foot comes down and then the next thing is watch your hips and watch your swing path instead of swinging more this way mm -hmm. you're basically going out this way so watch how when you strike it your foot and your body is continuing out to your right and these hips aren't really torquing through or turning through they're staying this way the whole time you could see now versus what we want to feel like is your hips and your butt you're landing over here more and then you sort of fall off to your right but instead you're just landing here and then just going down that way so you don't ever get a full power so that makes sense you're kicking it with about 75 percent of your actual power so i want to see you more here and then sort of fall off to the right five yards to your kickoff. If you guys are saying, hey, you know, kicking it pretty good, it's going nice and high, but it's dropping at the five All right, so that's called a hurdle follow through. This is one of the most crucial things you can do to add five yards to your kickoff. If you guys are saying, hey, you know, kicking it pretty good, it's going nice and high, but it's dropping at the five yard line, my coach is saying, get some fire under the ball, get that in the end zone, what can I do? One of them is fix your follow through. I guarantee you, half of you kick off like this, like just like a field goal. How many of you didn't know about this before today? Raise your hand if you didn't know how to, how to follow through on a kickoff. Okay, so about half How many do this already? Not many, right? Okay, so now you all get the grasp of it. You know what to do, right? If you're ever in doubt, you're like, what, what is Coach Brent talking about? Does he know what he's saying? Just watch NFL football on Sunday or put a YouTube video of an NFL kicker. Watch Sebastian Janikowski kickoff. Watch uh, David Akers is a good kickoff guy. Um, David Bueller, SC guy, blast the ball at the end zone. Or Billy Cundiff, who was a coach at our camp last year in uh, Arizona. He's the Raven. Thinking about how you want to feel like you have springs in your feet. If you think about those basketball shoes that they came out with, where they got this attachment and they promised two inches on your vertical, sort of the similar concept. I'm not going to promise you 20 yards on your kicks or anything, but when we kick it, you want to make sure off of this foot here, you get some sort of a press up. You don't want to just be staying static or flat on the ground on a kickoff like this. You're not going to get any power. So we need to feel like at contact, we're pressing up off of our plant. This is my right foot. I'm a lefty. So pressing up off of my right foot. Now, here's another thing. If you can get right on that way, looking straight in. So when we kick it, a lot of guys, when we talk about the hurdle, they think it means 
swinging around and turning our back, turning our shoulders, turning our foot. You don't want to do that. You don't want this knee to go from here to like that. Here's how you want to do this. And this is a good drill. So spring and follow through. Press up and over like this. I'm going to do two in a row. Hopefully that helps you get a couple yards on your kickoffs. Now we're going to be talking about the kickoff. Now the kickoff is a very uh, aggressive motion, um, but what I'm going to talk about is the ball placement on the tee and then how to find kickoff steps. It's uh, been a challenge for some kids trying to find out how far they should be from the ball. Uh, I'm going to show you a very unique way of finding good, comfortable kickoff steps. So first thing what I want to show you is the, is the ball placement. I've showed you here, there's, there's two styles of tee. This is a two inch kickoff tee. Uh, this is only good for high school. Uh, you cannot use that in college or NFL. Uh, so we'll, we'll put this to the side for a minute. But this is a one inch kickoff tee. And the ball placement is in, inside the back hole of this, of this tee here. But just like on a field goal, as I mentioned before in previous clips. Now the thing with kickoffs, a lot of people don't understand is you got a lot, you have a lot of control as a kicker. You, you don't have a holder holding the ball, you don't have a snapper snapping it, you've got control over how the ball is placed on the tee. So take advantage of any opportunities you have to make sure that that ball is exactly how you want it. Now with regards to finding the kickoff steps, I want to make sure that I'm on the same angle as my field goal. Uh, I coach uh, kickoff the same way my field goals are, are coached. I'm going to do one a uh, sample kick where I'm not kicking, if I like it, I'll come back here to the spot again and I'll swing at the ball. Okay, I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is now I know where that spot is, I'm going to walk back. However many steps it takes to where I'm equal with that cone, and then I'm going to walk however many steps it takes to get over to that cone. Okay. Some guys will line up like this. I have a tendency, I think it's better to walk back for, from here. So I'm gonna just count my steps as I walk. I'm gonna make sure I know where that cone is so I know where to stop. Okay, so now I like this spot. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate a kick here, which will conclude the video clip on finding the kickoff steps. That concludes our video on finding the kickoff steps. Besides the step is the same mechanics as a field goal. The only difference is the follow through. And that's the crucial part of maximizing your hang time and your distance on your kickoffs. You watch any NFL kicker or any top college kicker, they all do one thing in common, they hurdle. And what the hurdle is, is just like a hurdle and sprint jumping over a hurdle. You want to generate so much power from your hips and your leg swing that you swing up and through and land on the same foot you kick with. So once I've made contact, I'm gonna keep my chest up, flex my core, wanna stay locked out, up and through as high as possible, then landing on the same foot we kicked with and coming down the field. Sometimes when people make mistakes, they swing up and through and pull off left. They lose power that way. Or they swing so hard that their knee bends. You wanna stay locked in your ankle and your leg, up and through the ball, up off the ground, landing on the same foot you kicked with. So for Sam, we're gonna now look at his follow through, um, which we call the hurdle. Um, any NFL kicker, any top college kicker is gonna do a hurdle on their kickoff, which simply means you land on the same foot you kick with. But there's a few coaching points we want to talk about. Notice how from contact, his toe stays pointed, his kicking leg stays locked. Look how stiff his plant leg is to stay as long as possible. And that extension comes up and through, almost making a 90 degree angle with his legs ripping up and through, land on the same foot he kicks with. It's normal for you to come up off the ground. The more explosive you, you are, the more results you're going to have. So Shane is currently a freshman in high school has been kicking for two years. But one of the things he does really well is uses his long legs as a lever. Notice from contact, he drives up and through, keeping that leg straight and through the ball. Notice the straight leg, the pointed toe, the finish. I would actually like him to land right there at that yellow line because you want your follow through to go straight downfield. And if you're right footed, you should roll to your right a little bit. If you're left footed, obviously roll to your left. Anytime you swing up and through and land off to the side, you're actually losing a little bit of power. You want to carry that momentum downfield. That's actually a drill we'll use um, is kicking to a cone to help us transition our weight and power and momentum from our steps to the ball. Right here, Ryan is only in eighth grade. So he does a decent job of keeping his legs straight, but you can see he falls off and loses balance and drifts off 
to his left or right. The key for any developing kicker is to have enough body control that even when they're explosive, they hold the proper position through the swing. Notice how he extends up and through and his kicking leg comes down and off to the left or to the right as we look at it of the tee. You actually wanna carry your momentum downfield. So him having his hips slide out to his left or right is losing a little bit of power. Just envision one of my critiques if I was doing film analysis for him would be to draw a line from the ball to that yellow dash on the field and tell him that he, we want him to mirror his kicking foot with that line to keep his follow through straighter longer, which will add power. Also notice how flat his follow through stays, kind of swinging around instead of up and through. We wanna take all of our explosiveness and from our momentum of our steps and the lock out of our leg up and through the ball. The first step to setting up a kickoff is putting the ball on the tee. Zach is gonna show you how to do that. All right, so when you put the ball on the tee, you're gonna to wanna to have it pretty much completely vertical this way. It gives you the perfect opportunity to hit the ball right where you want it, which is right about here. And then, uh, since it's standing up nice and vertical, you'll be able to get all the lift and power that you'd like. So now that the ball is set, you're on to the next step which is taking your steps. Uh, this can make or break your kick. This is probably one of the most important steps. Um, you have to be able to figure those out. I already know mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk through mine. This is uh, my righty steps. I line up on the ball, facing the way I'm going, the way I'm gonna be coming from. Uh, and I'm gonna start with my right foot. Take 10 steps straight back. And then I like to take four steps to my left. So I will be coming in from the left side, being able to kick with my right foot. You turn, face the ball, start with your right foot forward, now you're ready for the next step. All right, for the third step, once you get in your actual steps, you need to make, take a look around the field and scan around, make sure everyone is on the field and that everyone is where they're supposed to be. You take a look at Eric here. People on the kickoff team have to make sure that they are five yards from the ball with exactly one foot on the 30. All right, the fourth step, and possibly the most important, is making sure that you're mentally prepared to go and kick this ball. If you're ready to go kick it, you have confidence that you're going to be able to uh, make a successful kick. It's going to go where you want. It's going to go as far as you want. So take a nice deep look at the ball if you need to. Have a nice deep breath. Then you should be ready to go kick. Step five to kick off is the approach. And Tyler is going to show us how to do that. First, he's going to start off by taking slow, gradual steps to the ball and then finish with speed. All right, for this next step, Tyler's going to be coming up to make the actual contact with the ball. And when he comes up to kick it, he's going to want to hit it right around here, so just a little bit under the middle of the ball. That's what they call the sweet spot, and that's where you're going to get most of your power and lift from. All right, guys, the final step for doing a kickoff is the follow-through after the kick. So when you make contact with it, you're going to want to keep your head down to the ground. And you're going to be propelled a few yards in the air by the momentum you should have going through the ball and land on your kicking foot, which in my case is the left foot. College coaches will really like that. That's a juicy little tip right there. Wherever you want to kick from, I would just say if you're getting your routine down and you want to start learning how to kick off, you just start right smacking them in, all right? We have now situated the tee right in the middle of the field. This is all you're gonna do. Notice how the tee, get my little ruler out right here. Notice how the tee is right on that line right there. So your tee can't be over that line. You can be here, you can be here, but I like to put it as close to the line as possible. Just so you know, I get that extra little uh, three inches, you know, when you're hitting 80 yarders, you know, 80.3 inch yards. So once you have your juicy T set up, you got your pump ball, all you're gonna do is this, all right? You're gonna situate it at a point where it's nice and level. I try to keep my ball right on a nice axis where the ball is completely lined up. So it's not too forward, it's not too back, okay? But what I do like to do with the ball is add a little bit of camber, right? Just tilt it just on the side for one second. Instead of my ball being like this, the ball has a little bit of camber. So fellas, I'd say that's the meta when it comes to setting up your kickoff, right? You wanna make sure your balls are nice and cambered and nice and upright, all right? You don't want it to be too far forward. It's not like a field goal just because it's a little bit harder to make consistent contact on kickoff. So what I like to do is just have it nice in the middle, all right? personal preference and then just put a little bit of camera on it because you don't want your ball to be too much you know where it's like this or basically if you get to that point your, your ball's like this fellas like what the once you got the ball nice and set up, as you can see, you know, looking nice and purdy, this is the part that I'd say this is vital for people who are doing kickoffs, okay? And it's ball contact slash approach. You want to make sure that when you're approaching the ball, you're doing whatever you can to maximize your consistency when it comes to your ball contact. And when I mean ball contact, I mean when your foot makes contact with a ball. So we want to maximize the sweet spot, okay? We want to make sure that we're hitting it consistently. So that's why when you see dudes running up from like 20 yards to kick off, if they're not hitting the ball correctly, if they're not hitting that sweet spot, if they're not making juicy contact, they're just getting some extra calories in, man. Like, what are they doing, all right? You can take 20 steps or you can take three steps. And if you make the same amount of ball contact, it doesn't matter, right? The ball's gonna go the same distance. So, fellas, my tip to you guys is finding kind of that in-between, right? So, basically, where you're maximizing your attack, your approach. Once you figure out your approach, you know, once you're testing them out, the best thing, right, is basically just to run up and just run through the ball. Don't actually kick the ball. Literally, just run up and run through the ball like you're coasting. Like, imagine you're gonna attack the ball, but just coast through it, all right? Same thing, like, watch. Once you find your steps that you feel comfortable, this is the best way to test your steps, right? You just run up 
and run through the ball like you're attacking it, like you're about to swing. So once you find something that feels comfortable, then you know you can start going through reps, you can start kicking, and basically you're just gonna, yo, is it hailing right now? It's hailing, bro. Look at this, look at this. What the f Washington? <laughs> Fellas, as you can see out here, it's rain or shine, you know, it's hailing, but it doesn't matter. We're learning how to kick off, right? Once you test your approaches, once you test your steps, the biggest thing, the biggest tip, all right, make sure whenever you're approaching, you stay linear. When I mean linear, you stay in a straight line, okay? Never round your kickoffs. And another one is, holy sh! Another one is never stutter step, okay? That's gonna break your consistency. That's gonna break your momentum. Look at this, bro. What the f So when I mean round kickoff, I mean like this, dude. You don't wanna, ah! you don't wanna go like this. You wanna stay straight, okay? See, I'm straight, 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 straight. Never, ever, never, ever, when you're kicking off, go like this. Okay, you're not messy taking a PK. You're going right at the ball, you're attacking, right? You don't go like this. That's a big no-no. So like I said, stay straight, don't stay rounded. And fellas, you better not be stutter stepping, all right? So after you're staying straight and staying non-stuttery, this is another big tip, is your fall through. So come over here. So once you make ball contact, right, where you get that nice plant, that lock, and then that's drive, the biggest thing for kickers when they're kicking off is explosion. So fellas, when you're attacking the ball, you are literally gaining so much momentum and power, right? If you watch slow-mo kickoffs, when they're coming up, you're literally like ripping off your armor and exploding through the ball. And when I mean exploding, I'm saying you should never ever, fellas, if you're ever kicking off and you are landing on your plant foot, right, like a field goal. That was thunder. Yo, do we f be out here? So fellas, we just heard some thunder. You know, we got good old Zeus out here hanging out with us, showing you guys how to kick off like a pro. So fellas, same thing, like I said, the fall through. Once you explode through the ball, right, you make that good ball contact, you're literally ripping so much to where your foot is coming up so high that it's like you're leaping, like you're leaping through the ball. So for example, you're coming up, you're gaining all your momentum, all your power, you're exploding through the football. You should look like a gazelle, okay? Leaping, just... You gotta summon the inner gazelle. So once you explode through that ball, the biggest thing is slowing down that inertia, which is your follow through, all right? So once you explode through that football, right? You're coming up linear, you explode through, you're gonna follow through the ball, okay? Because you have all this speed, all this momentum, all this energy, you wanna make sure that you're safely dispersing it. And you can kind of do it in style, because you know, when you have good contact, and when you absolutely blast that football, you can feel it, all right? And what I like to do, you know, when I hit big bombs, when I kick off, is the second I hit it, I know it's explosive. So I'll go through the ball, I'll rip through, and I'll just do a nice little, like kind of swaggy, you know? You're like, you pound it, and you can just, because you know, bro, they're not returning it so you, you got nothing to worry about you know you can just do your little dance all right <laughs> Fellas, the biggest thing is making sure your steps are consistent and you're staying locked in, all right? You can't have inconsistent steps. Jacket's coming off. You know what that means, baby. 80 yards. And same thing on your field goals. See how the ball is slightly tilted? Basically, it's the same thing as like your field goals, all right? You wanna make sure you know you got, you got that nice little tilt, that nice little camera, so you know you get that nice little hug where your foot is. You know you want your foot to hug that ball real nice. So yeah, just add a little bit. You don't need to go anything crazy, just a little bit of camera on that ball so it's nice and You wanna make sure you know you got, you got that nice little tilt, that nice little camera, so you know you get that nice little hug where your foot is. You know you want your foot to hug that ball real nice. So yeah, just add a little bit. You don't need to go anything crazy, just a little bit of camera on that ball so it's nice and juicy, all right? For some of you guys, you might not want to go all the way back to, you know, 11 yards. I go 11, five over. If you feel like you make good ball contact from anywhere from seven yards, what if it floats your boat, right? You just gotta make sure the biggest thing at kickoffs is that good ball contact, all right? So for me, that's where I feel like I get the best, you know, inertia, the best run up approach, you know, ball contact in terms of power. But even from seven yards, five yards, even three yards, if you can bang it from there and you get good contact, then go for it, all right? This is my lefty's left, all right? Here we go. Make sure when you're doing kickoffs, you got a nice little personal shagger down here, as you guys can see. You could hire one, maybe like five bucks an hour, just you know, go grab your balls, because you know those kickoffs, once you're going 80 yards, like you don't have time to go all the way down there again. I'm like, come on, man. All right, so fellas, that's basically the basics when it comes to kicking off. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm probably gonna do an advanced kickoff tutorial in the future. You know, this is a demonstration of proper kickoff technique. Begin your kickoff technique progression by taking normal walking steps back. The most natural and consistent thing a human being does is walks. This will build consistency on game day when your nerves are high and anxiety is rolling. When pacing your steps backwards, make sure you're facing the direction in which you're going to kick off. This will help build mental imagery on where you're trying to kick the football. Once you've taken your steps back, make sure you check your target line. 
Again, your target line consists of your kicking foot toe, the ball, and where you're trying to kick. Once you come to balance, turn your plant foot out at 90 degrees based off your target line, and then begin walking forward, taking your steps over. Avoid taking your steps over by taking them over going sideways. Kickoffs, you have a much greater distance to go to get over to your point. This is a much more efficient way of getting there when walking forward. Once you do get there, make sure you check your plant foot toe. Make sure it's aiming where your plant foot will hit. This ensures that your approach to the football is on or outside your approach line. Again, you want to avoid bananaing or mooning into the football on your approach. Your stance on your kickoffs can be upright, relaxed, and comfortable. The reason being, when you move and start into your kick, it's on your own watch. When you're kicking a field goal, your stance has to be weight distributed forward, shoulders over the top, and slight knee bend to make sure your body momentum all goes forward on the snap of the football. You start when somebody else makes you start. Again, your approach to the football should be from about 0 to 75%. If you're going 0 to 100, you're coming into the football way too hard. Body lean away from the ball, creating a good surface for liftoff and clean ball foot contact. Leg up and through the football. Avoid crunching. Landing on that kicking leg and transferring that momentum through the kick downfield. This is a demonstration of the half approach kickoff drill. This is a great drill for warming up prior to a practice or game because it consolidates your approach and doesn't wear your leg out. Your technique progression with this drill is exactly the same as your full approach kickoff. Your steps back should be paced off at a normal walking pace. Check your target line. You should come to balance and turn that plant foot out at 90 degrees, making sure you're coming off of your target line correctly. Once you get over to your point, make sure you get in a relaxed, upright, comfortable stance. And check your plant foot to make sure it's aiming where your plant foot will hit when contacting the football. Again, your approach to the football should be on or outside your approach line, zero to about 60%. Body lean away from the football, creating a good surface to contact the ball. Leg rides up. Again, avoid crunching. Leg follow through downfield, transferring that momentum downfield and through the ball and coming back to balance. Now we're going to talk about the contact point on a kickoff. Okay. When our kicker's getting his speed, like we just talked about on the approach, and he's coming, 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 coming into the ball, he's going to plant. He's going to have his hips completely wide open, his chest is going to be facing this way, okay? and then he's going to slam the doors closed. Okay? We're going to have the foot completely locked out. Kelly, come in here real quick for me. If our kicker's foot, lock your foot out, his foot has to be completely locked out here. If his toe comes up at all, okay, his, the ball's going to be contacting his foot rather than his foot contacting the ball. So we get the foot completely locked out, we get the hips turned over, okay, and then we're flying into the ball, and that's how he should be kicking off. If he gets his toe up at all, you're gonna have balls wobbling all over the place, he won't be able to control it. Okay, so that's our contact. We're planted in, our hips are open, our foot's locked, and we're gonna hit the ball. Okay, when we kick this ball, unlike on any field goals, you're gonna land on your kicking foot. Okay, we want our kickers to hit, have so much momentum, this right foot's gonna bring them up and through. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of a dry run here and show you what it should look like. So we're gonna hit the ball, come up and through. That brings our momentum through the ball. So we contact, we get up and through, and we land on our kicking leg here. Okay, so I'm gonna have Kelly take his steps. He's gonna approach the ball nicely. He's gonna hit it, great contact, and land on his kicking foot. Open the door, Gores, close him, good. Hey, okay, nice job, solid hit on the ball, getting up through it. Okay. For our kicking on the ball contact, I got you in the back here so you can see exactly where we want to hit it. We want to be hitting this ball about a quarter way up where that white stripe is. That way the ball can shoot up out of here. A coaching point. If your kicker hits the ball up here in the middle, you're going to get a line drive. If he kicks down a real low, he's going to have a high ball that flutters around really, really fast. Okay, so I'm going to put this ball teed up. We want to hit about a quarter way up the ball and get it. I want to show you my full steps here. Okay, so I'm going to take 10 yards back. I'm going to line up directly with the ball. I'm going to take, for me, I'm taking five steps over. I turn. I have a little comfort step where I bring this foot under me. I've got my weight lean. I'm ready to go. I'm going to stay on the approach of my plant foot. I'm going to hit the ball, land on my kicking foot. Okay, really, really nice approach. Nice and smooth. I don't take a lot of effort. 
Just move nice and slow into it, and then you hit the ball in that sweet spot. Foot locked, the ball will fly out of there. Nice slow spin to the return.